Hi, 3D printing friends. As you might know, Slicer software is an essential part of 3D printing. It converts 3D models into a language that your printer can understand. Without it, your 3D printer wouldn't know how to operate. With Eligu Slicer, you can easily handle slicing tasks. Now, let's start from the beginning and take a quick look at the steps to install and use Eligu Slicer together. Double-click on the Elegoo Slicer installation package and follow the prompts to install the slicer. Tick I accept the terms of the license agreement and click Next. You can customize the software installation location if needed, then click Next. Finally, click Install to begin the installation process. Once installed, click Finish to open the software and start the initial setup. Click Get Started to proceed with the Beginner Setup Guide. Select the Login Region and then click Next. Select the printer and nozzle diameter being used. Note, printers are normally equipped with a 0.4 mm nozzle by default. Then click Next. Choose the type of material being used. Click Finish to complete the setup. After entering the software interface, a software update prompt may appear. You can choose whether to update or not. Click New Project to access the main interface. Under the Printer section, you can select slash Remove Printer. Then you can modify the filament type under Filament section. You can also add or delete filament. Under the Process section, you can choose different slicing layer height settings. And you can click Advanced to configure all parameter settings. To start up slicing, click Add in the toolbar to import a model. Or you can drag the model directly into the slicer. Please note, Illiquid Slicer support file formats including STL, OBJ, 3MF, STEP, and AMF. To move the position of the model, click Move. Then you can either drag the center axis arrows of the model or directly modify the model's coordinate data to move it to the target position. If you want to cancel the move and make the model back to the center, right-click on the model and choose Center. As for rotation of the model, simply click Rotate and input an angle, or you can directly select the coordinate axis on the model to rotate it to the desired angle. To adjust the scale of the model, you can use the Scale tool to either change the size by percentage or by dimensions value. And there is one easy trick to rotate the model to have a preferable bottom surface. Use the Lay on Face tool. With only one click, you can now select the face for the bottom. Please note, try to select the surface with more flat areas to ensure printing success and best details. Last but not the least, you will need to add support for the parts with large overhangs before printing. Find support under the Process section and then tick Enable Support. Slice now. The software will automatically generate support structures at the overhang positions to make sure it prints well. Finally, you can export G-code file. If you want to directly send the file to print on the connected printer, please check out our How to Remote Control Centauric Carbon tutorial. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Don't forget to follow our official channel for more content. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. See you in the next video and happy printing! Elegoo.